Hello and welcome back to Captain of Industry. I got the name right this time. Look at that. He says you got no valid destination. Oh, I haven't said that to be wood. Sort of assumed it would know it was wood because it's connected to a wood one already. But we set it to wood now. That is on its way. Where are you going? You're filled with iron scrap. Okay, so you're just going over to deliver the iron scrap over there so we can continue this. That is great. We are waiting for these to start producing iron. They're still just digging up dirt at the moment, which is absolutely fine. Because that means we're going to be expanding this bit of land down here. It's getting there. Look, soon enough we would have fit another one of these in. Though we've got plenty of space at the moment, so there's no rush for that. We have no research on the go, though, which is terrible. What do we have to do next? Do we know what's going to come up next down here? No, we don't. So we'll just take a wild guess what it's going to ask us to do. Is it going to be bricks? Nope, we've done bricks. Is it going to be storage? What store is that? Loose storage. That's probably quite useful. So that's going to be all the ore stuff. So let's start that going. Uh, ship dock repair, synthetic rubber, and copper. We're not going to get copper for a little while. Copper is quite far away. Let's go for rubber. What does rubber need to be made? Oil. We've just done that. Uh, so it takes diesel and coal and makes rubber and wastewater. Or diesel and sulfur and makes rubber. We don't have any sulfur. So I don't know if that's going to be any here anytime soon either. Do you know what? We'll add it to the queue. And if it's researched before... It tells us to research copper, then so be it. So be it. Let's get that going. Right. Still doing dirt, but it will get there. I promise you it'll get there. At some point soon, it'll get there. So we do need to set up... Um, well, I suppose once we have iron, what we can do is we can just tell this to do both of these. And we can even then... Change the priority. Right now, it's saying it can use either recipe. But this is the main recipe it can make. This is the... Why is it full of molten iron? When these should be running at full tilt. Probably because they're actually just full of iron. And there's no one to... Oh, that one's actually full. So what we'll do here is we'll stick another... I'm going to click rotate far too many times. We'll set that to be iron... We've got plenty of unity, so we'll say quick deliver to get that going even faster. Why not? And then that will get this running again anyway. So uh, this would prioritize using the iron scrap we have down here, of which we have 216 left. What we can say, though, is prioritize using iron ore and coal. And it uses the same amount of coal and the same amount of iron to iron scrap as well, actually. And this then makes molten iron, slag, and exhaust. Now, what do we do with slag? I don't really know, to be honest. We'll figure that out when we get there, I suppose. <clears throat> but we're going to say prioritize using this recipe when you have iron. It's not going to do that for a little while, and we'll need to get iron ore. To oh, it started doing iron. Hold on. Whoa. Pickup has no compatibility, compatible sorting plant for mixed cargo. This is where the ore sorter comes in. So if we look at this pickup down here... He's got dirt and iron in him. And he doesn't know what to do with the dirt and the iron. He needs something to do with it. He's confused. I'm going to very quickly check our trees. I'm going to tell it to start doing these ones next. Just because they're sort of in the way. I don't think you can prioritise them. Because I want to get rid of these as well. But we'll prioritise those ones after these. I might even... Is it worth getting... No, we don't have diesel production. Let's not get ahead of ourselves. Once we start producing diesel, we can start thinking about that. That is the next thing we have to do down here, though, is to... Oh, no, let's deal with this first. What we're doing? I'm getting confused. Farm could not store all potatoes after harvest. Where do we store potatoes? We have nowhere we can store potatoes. Where is our storage? We just have unit storage and fluid storage. Neither of those are potatoes. And I don't think... What was it? G for research, wasn't it? I don't think this stores potatoes. Oh, that does. It does store potatoes. Okay, so once that's researched, we can get some potato storage down. We won't connect it directly to it, no. Being silly. But we can get some potato storage down, because this is actually just filled with potatoes. This, that's, it's a really good position to be in. It's a really good position to be in. The other thing we need to think about, and it isn't telling us to do this at the moment, but... Uh, we have general, We have the brickworks down here. We have a rainwater harvester. So I briefly mentioned this before, that we don't have a way of extracting the groundwater up here as of yet. This is the only option we will have for a little while. And they're quite chunky, and I'm wondering where I should fit these in. I might see if I, how many I can squeeze in 
here. If we go into planning mode, we can say one, two. I mean, the game's paused anyway. Which doesn't necessarily, well, it does need to be because of the sword. We can fit three in there quite nicely. Let's just... I might even change that. So if we... Oh, I don't want to do that. I wanted to say cut and then select all of those and then move those over so they are lined up over there nicely. Do you want it there or there? Hmm. I'm going to go there. <clears throat> and then we can say um, unpause, unpause, unpause. And let's just start building those. Excellent. And then we will want some... Do we have fluid storage? I saw fluid storage. We do have fluid storage, yes. So I'm going to put some fluid storage in. Can we put it there over that rock? We can. Do I want it there? I do want to leave this space... Thinking where this sort of is coming down. It's going to come and store straight through there, yeah. So it should be fine if we put it in over here. I might just pop it in like there. Then if we get our transports and pipes, we can say we want to go from here to he incompatible port end. Sorry, what? Why? <laughs> Um, it's not. Okay, that's fine. We'll come across here. Incompatible port at end. Oh, I see, because it thinks it's trying to connect. If we start here and come along and say go here. And then go from here to here, and then here to here. It thought it was creating a loop going from an output to an output. That's what that was complaining about. And see how it just puts the, the junctions on automatically? The splitters automatically? You don't have to worry about it. Oh, I love that so much. Right, so we've got rainwater collection on, which is going to go into this fluid storage down here, which is great. Now we need to worry about an ore sorter which is here underneath buildings for vehicles. I guess that makes sense. This facility handles sorting of mixed materials loaded onto your trucks by excavators. This is required as trucks can't directly deliver mixed load to storage units or buildings, which makes sense, doesn't it? It makes sense. We're gonna spin this around. I'd like to put it right there, but that tree's in the way annoyingly. Uh, we can put it there though. I guess we'll put it there, that's fine. So this is gonna sort. What do we have coming in here? We're gonna have dirt. We're going to have iron ore. We're potentially going to have rock as well, I suppose. We don't have anywhere to to put it at the moment. And we don't have any loose storage, so that's fine. What you can do, as you can see, is assign them to certain outputs at the end here. How much would this be to... We've got loads. Let's... Oh, I can't... Why can't I do that? Why can't I... We can prioritise it. I don't know why I can't... Do -do. Is it because we don't have enough stuff to build it with? Maybe it's because it someone had already loaded up. I think maybe a truck had already loaded up stuff, so it, it wouldn't couldn't do it because we weren't quick enough for it. It's fine. Anyway, it's prioritised, so that shouldn't take too long. And then these trucks will deliver to... Let's move this out of the way a little bit. There isn't a specific input, but they will deliver the goods to this facility and their facility will sort it out and the trucks will be able to pick it up at the exits. At the exits? I don't know. Do I want to worry about changing these right now? I might just move this one over to D just so that the... Uh, the iron's on, a, on, a, on an edge. I think that's what we're going to do. I think that's what we're going to do. So that's on its way. Excellent. We almost have that storage anyway. We don't currently have belts to use it with. And I really don't know whether the best thing to do would be like to... Why is that paused? I think I might have built that in planning mode, you know. I think I might have built that in planning mode. And I built all of these in planning mode as well. <clears throat> Which I knew that I did, but I thought I had unpaused them. Anyway, bit of a learning curve there, bit of a learning curve. That's all fine, that's all fine. So we have our fluid storage down ready. 
not in any massive rush because it's not going to matter until it's raining anyway. This is pretty much there. It's on its way. Let's speed everything up to get this done, shall we? Oh, hello, excavator zooming in. He must have gone up to top up with diesel. There's not a lot he can do at the moment, though, unfortunately. We've got another truck coming in there with a the delivery, so that's great. We are storing... We are full again of iron. Is it worth putting more storage on? It's not going to hurt, is it? It's not going to hurt. I really don't know whether I should directly connect these to the outputs or not. I really want just... I'm sort of waiting for belts, is what I'm sort of doing. We'll put that down there, and we'll, if we copied it, we wouldn't have to select the uh, resource every time, but I keep forgetting to do that. Anyway... So we do have loose storage, so let's pop some loose storage over here. We'll pop this one in here. We'll leave a bit of a gap, I think that'll be fine. And this one is going to store potatoes. Excellent. They've started building the rainwater collectors, that is also excellent. They've started, oh well, they haven't started that one yet, that's fine though. Do we not have construction parts? Is that what's going on? No, we don't. We don't have construction parts because we never finished building that, so they had nowhere to put them. Oh, for shame. For shame. Shame on me. Okay, well, that's fine. It's almost there, right? There we go. It is done. Excellent. So now we will see these trucks come in here. They will deliver everything into this container over here it will be sorted and it will be ready for collection by trucks at the end they will pick up the dirt to go and dump it the iron will be taken down to our iron smelting facility down here <clears throat> now at some point we probably will move the iron we will like build like an iron thing up here maybe just gonna have a quick look at this so we have oil here that's the next thing we need to worry about isn't it oil there so that's not what i wanted Let's mark all of those for removal. Just get rid of those. I might get rid of these for the minute. They're sort of in the way of this, but I think it's probably more important to get rid of these for the oil. I'm half tempted to say build another ex another tree harvester and some more pickups, but... Yeah, I don't know, I don't know. How many machine parts do we even have, you know? Maybe we won't build any more vehicles or worry about it unless there's a specific reason until we get more, um... Until we get diesel on the go, really. That's what we're sort of looking for, isn't it? <clears throat> but I do want them to get rid of these trees pretty quick smart. I suppose we can... Well, can we run pipes if the trees are in the way? Where's transport? Yeah, the pipe's not too bothered by the trees. It's pretty much okay with it. Right. We are mining the iron ore. We will soon be processing the iron ore. It should now have. It does have iron ore down there. It's going to start processing it. We have finished this one, though, which gives us electronics and construction parts, which is great. We need those. I don't know why this is... Oh, because we haven't got the construction parts to, to do it. That's why. It's a very simple problem we're having. <laughs> it doesn't have the construction parts to build the storage. It is instead focusing on this one, I guess, because it was paused, unpaused more recently. I don't know. It's not worth really prioritizing it now because we're using the construction parts ev anywhere, everywhere, anyway. I don't know where they are taking the construction parts at the moment, though. It might just be that the, the trucks are prioritizing hauling over everything else, you know. <clears throat> anyway, oil then. Let's focus on oil. Crude oil refining. We need two. Oh, we need to build another assembly to produce construction parts. So that's not a bad thing we could do now. So if we just hit C on this one, pop this in right next to it. That'll get us another assembly for construction parts. Build unit storage and assign it to construction parts. That's on its way as well. So we've almost finished this one down here. That's fine. <clears throat> we began processing the oil, uh, the iron ore, so it's now all about 
It's going to slow everything down for a minute. It's all about the eye, uh, the oil. So we need to build two oil pumps and connect them to a distiller. Here are our oil pumps. So I don't know. Where's the output for this? It's on the side there. How close does it have to be? Like it says it's fine there, but I don't know exactly how... I don't know exactly how it works. I feel like if we go directly over it, because they're all in a line, right? Yeah, so we'll go directly over it and we'll click, hold down shift as we do it and we'll build two oil pumps. We have oil pumps, excellent. We need to build a basic distiller, which takes oil and coal and makes it into diesel, wastewater and exhaust. That's fine. So we will build this. I'd like to build it. I'm trying to get the, the inputs in line with the one down there. I think it's there, isn't it? Let's build it there. So we're going to need uh, waste. Where have you gone, waste management? Where have you gone? Waste management, there. We need a smokestack. That is going to go there. And, because this produces waste water, we need a liquid dump as well. Which is going to go over here somewhere, I guess, would make sense. Is that going to be too high? I would have loved it to have been there, but it doesn't like it. It doesn't like it anywhere. Why can't I just spit water in any direction I want. Oh, I just noticed there's a mirror option. You can flip things so that it's... So if, if that was asymmetrical, we could flip it, I think. Oh, that's interesting. Um, oh. Oh. We're going to need a really silly pipe system here. Is it going to be like the trade dock where it can't really go anywhere? Or am I just doing it the wrong way? I'm just doing it the wrong way. Oh, that's absolutely fine then. Don't worry about it. It's all good. <laughs> I'm just an idiot. I was putting the, the input side, trying to put that in the ocean. So it doesn't fit. Well, it does fit there. We can't fit it in anywhere there. We can get it just... Where was that? there. Let's pop it down there. And then we want transports pipes. We want to connect the waste water. I'm going to bring that down now. Actually what I might do here <coughs> is raise this up because otherwise they might not be able to get raise it up one. Is that enough for a truck to get underneath? Maybe we have to bring it up we have to bring it up twice. So we'll bring it up twice. We want it to come down straight. And then we want this to be perfectly in line, which I think is there. It's not. I can't bring it out one more. Is that done the way I wanted it? Not really. So let's pause. Let's delete this section. I wanted it to stay raised up until the end. So if we go this way instead and we say... And then we go up twice. Like that. How does that look at that end? That looks good. And it's connected at that end. That looks good. 
And then we have diesel coming out of the, and no, I don't want to connect it to a pipe just yet. We then have diesel coming out, which is exactly what we want. So we want some fluid storage. <clears throat> we're going to spin it around this way. We're going to leave a bit of space just so stuff, well, so, so stuff isn't really going to come through, is it? But we're going to want, I think, at least a couple of these. And then we want, I don't know what the, um, like the pipette button is. Oh, it's just copy, isn't it? There we go. I can't tell where that's connected because of the tree. There we go. So this produces 24 diesel a second. The pipes can handle 60 a second. So if we built another one here, that could handle it fine. In fact, let's have a quick look at this. It uses 54 crude oil a second. These produce 18 a second, uh, a minute, sorry, 54 a minute. And this produces 18 a minute. So that's 36. Is the next one 54, 40? Yeah, so actually we want another one of these, don't we? So let's pop that there, and then we want pipages. Pipages, 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 transport, pipes. Do we want this one to go up one? Or are we not so concerned? I don't think we're as concerned with this one. Let's go from the other end again so it doesn't get confused. Oh, it is slightly out of line. Okay, that's fine. We'll go there. We'll go there. Nope. We'll go there. Excellent. <clears throat> I probably should actually have had those face in the other way. So we could build some on the other side. But it's fine. It'll do for now. It'll do for now. We need to get all that built. That will be our first diesel production on the go. They're finally building this. That's awesome. We'll be building that shortly when we get more construction parts in. We have our fluid storage down, which already has some fluid in it. I don't think it's rained, has it? But still, okay. It's got a little bit. That's nice. It's already basically half full. I might stick another... Um, Another one on the end of there, you know. And that's going to be water. We never told this it was going to be diesel, did we? Diesel and diesel. I noticed they can also collect wastewater. I don't know if we need to collect wastewater. I don't feel like we do. These are all just waiting for construction parts. I might boost this. So it's going to take a, a bit of a hit to our Unity generation a month, but that's not a problem. But we are now going to be producing twice as many, which I think would be a very useful thing to have. So we've built two oil pumps. We've got a basic distiller. We've got a liquid dump near the shore. We then need to produce diesel and dump waste water. That is all on its way. We are building another assembly for construction parts. We just need to put some construction parts in storage. We also need to dump slag. Where does slag come from again? Not there. Where does, oh, it comes from, from down here, doesn't it? Yeah, this produces slag. Uh, which it is... Oh, it's currently not producing these because it's waiting on the extra storage there. So it has a little bit of slag in store, but not much. And I don't know... So it comes out that side, does it? Yeah. So the trucks are getting there and collect it should they need to. That's not a problem. We have no research. Did we, did we finish all the other research? Okay, let's get the ship repair on the go and the captain's office where we can do stuff. I think those are like policies. Well, we'll get that done as well then. That's fine. May as well have some research on the go. How is our diesel looking? 335, 181 rubber, so not too bad. It's not looking too bad at all, actually. Let's speed everything up a little bit. We have the storage for construction parts. We have the second one on its way that is just being built as we speak. Awesome. We just now need to get 20 in storage, which is going to take a little bit of time because we are building lots of stuff. We've dumped the slag, so we've got some diesel and some vehicle parts. Lovely stuff. I'm guessing the slag gets dropped off over here as well to continue expanding this. I do just want to check... Yeah, they've got a little bit extra they can expand into. Like, they're not going to run out of space to drop stuff anytime soon. So that's fine. We've got this on the go. We've got the beacon paused. We'll have to keep an eye on that. This is now carving a wonderful little chunk into this mountain. Oh, I do love that. I do love that so much. 
<clears throat> we need to build a brickworks and connect it to a rainwater harvester using a pipe. Brickworks was down here, wasn't it? So brickworks takes dirt, coal, water, turns it into bricks and exhaust. Coal's going to become a problem pretty soon, isn't it? How much coal do you produce? Seven and a half every minute. You don't use coal. What does use coal? You're going to use six a minute. You're not going to use any coal, obviously. There is something else which uses coal, isn't there? Oh, this, nine. So we're producing seven and a half every minute, and that takes nine. So we could definitely do with more of these. <clears throat> but we couldn't fit another one in next to it, which is a bit frustrating. I might just build... For the short term... No, it's not with power, is it? What am I looking for? Buildings? No. Slow everything down while I figure this out. Metallurgy and smelting. A coal maker. Yeah, it's annoying we can't fit it in there. But we'll just put it like... There. <clears throat> and we need a smokestack for that, don't we? Smokestack goes on the end. So it'll have to be manually fed. Slightly annoyingly. <clears throat> Could have had that storage next to this one. But I suppose one will be automatic at the very least, and the other one will be a manual one for when, as and when we get to it. Right, brickworks. Which is going to take another six. I don't know if that's a minute. I don't know if that automatically sets it to a minute because everything else is. But a brickworks extracts clay out of dirt and produces bricks. So where do we want the brickworks? It has to be connected to a rainwater extractor pipe. <clears throat> so I'm thinking maybe like just down here. Oh, could we? No, we don't want it there because then nothing would be able to get out, would it? So if we put it here, it has a smokestack requirement. I like the smokestack. I just. It, when you have to attach it to a building and you can't pipe it or anything. Maybe you can pipe it. Yeah, because it accepts 60 a second. So I guess you could pipe them together, couldn't you? Because this only produces six. So you could probably pipe them together so you could have... Anyway, it's not too much of a concern. We need... Oh, but, oh it's on the... Hang on. Stop. Can I flip reverse that? So that the rainwater collection is on this side rather than on this side. Because then we can run that pipe flat to the ground, the same as it already is. <clears throat> I don't know how that works with the fact like this goes this way. And there's even an arrow on it saying it's good. So that one's only going to collect. Hold on a second. No, that's no good. That's no good. Because it would only collect from there. It wouldn't collect from all of it. So we actually want it over here, don't we? So let's try that again. Brickworks. So maybe we'll just have it here for now. It's not going to let me put it right next to it, though, annoyingly. I suppose no, it has to be. It says it has to be connected to a rainwater harvester using a pipe. <clears throat> it makes more sense to have it behind here, doesn't it? Because that's where the water is. So maybe we want it there. And temporarily, we will connect it to a rainwater harvester. And then shortly after that, it actually wants to go back a little bit, doesn't it? Just so we can fling a pipe straight across there. And then we'll connect it to the output of the um, fluid. Fluid boxes. <laughs> fluid storage when we can. Construction parts, construction parts, where are you? We still have none stored. That has very few in there. This is now making some at least. Is it worth boosting this as well? I think it might be, you know. 
Let's get these construction parts up and running. Because it's what's holding us up at the moment. So I think we're going to have a little bit of a, a cut. And we'll come back when we've got the rest of this built. Unless anything goes drastically wrong, which is always possible. Alright, it only took five minutes, but we're getting somewhere now. Here is our waste water being spewed into the ocean. Again, like the conscientious industrial people we are. Excellent stuff. We've been producing some diesel. We're actually almost full of diesel. So we're going to immediately make some more fluid storage for this. We might even make a couple. And we'll mark these as diesel. Because we're going to need a lot of diesel. So we may as well have some in store. Happy to store all if it's making it all. That's not a problem. <clears throat> we also have the brickworks built down here. That is now on the go. We're down to 12 workers. I did say I had to keep an eye on this. Let's unpause the beacon, and in, within five months, we'll get some more people in. Excellent. We've got the second coal maker up and running, which is nice, but as we now have this maker, I don't know if there's somewhere you can see. Let's have a quick look at the hotkeys. Uh, where am I looking? Settings, controls, game speed, tools. <clears throat> I want to see if there's something which tells you like your full usage of something. Transport build, alternative route. Pause window shortcuts. Research statistics. Trading. Resource vision. No, it's not that. Transports menu T. No, that isn't it either. I don't think there's anything else there, was there? No, but you know what I'm looking for? Something like if you saw the new cycle series I did, where it had just like an overview of all of your resources. <clears throat> and you could just see like how many you had coming in and out sort of thing. You know what I mean. Because we've got this using coal, this using coal, and we might need more iron at some point. This using coal, and these don't use coal currently. So what I was thinking was actually, I'm trying to get rid of this, but obviously I can't do that. It's probably about time we thought about getting rid of these and just actually harvesting. Where are you going? Are you doing the trees over there? Yeah, so I told the tree harvester to prioritize these trees over here. Well, to only cut these trees over here. Because we are about to mine this hill for its lovely coal. I think it's about time we did that. We also do have the... Um, what do they call them? The other storage. The loose storage where we can store the ore and stuff. We don't currently have any belts though. Uh, this is full of iron ore, though, which means that they're going to be potentially slowed down if they pick up iron and they've got nowhere to put it. So I did put iron onto this one over here. Annoyingly, that one's quite close, but it doesn't have a lot in there. So I think what I might do, at least as a temporary message, is I might put a loose storage on there and tell that to store iron ore, just so they can... Keep on digging, keep on digging. So we have finished diesel production. We have produced the diesel. We have dumped the wastewater. We don't need that anymore. We can get some construction parts and some bricks. We have stockpiled diesel. We have built fluid storage for diesel and connected it to a basic distiller. And we've disabled truck import for the new diesel storage. Well, we didn't. It's just, it's connected via a pipe, so it automatically did it. That's fine. So we can collect that one. And the stockpiling of products. We have stored iron, we have stored construction parts, we have built another assembler. We can collect that one. Excellent. Right. So we are moving on now to electronics and vehicle parts. But I think the first thing I want to do, we do also have... What did I, where did I see this? We also have... Oh, I saw it somewhere. We also have a rubber maker now. That was the other thing. We used this diesel and thought that's going to need coal as well. But we do want to get some rubber on the go at some point. Um... We're down to 161 in there, but electronics and vehicle parts are definitely lower. Let's have a quick look to see what they actually take. So vehicle parts are mechanical parts and iron. Electronics are rubber and copper. Ooh, copper is a problem. We have a little bit of copper, and I don't think we can trade for copper, can we? No, we can only can trade construction parts for copper, which I'm not entirely keen on doing. We don't have enough wood to trade. We really don't. Maybe I'll disable this then. I don't want to be running out of wood, I don't think. But yeah, I think in the short term, not enough fuel to refuel a vehicle. I mean, 
Okay, there's no diesel down there. But... We are literally... Rolling in diesel up there. So there definitely is enough fuel to fill a vehicle. Please don't lie to me. Please don't lie to me. <clears throat> Let's get harvesting this coal. Harvesting? No. Let's get mining this coal. Buildings for vehicles. Mine control tower. We're going to pop this in right here. Which leaves a little bit of space behind the farms should we need it. We're going to set its area. <clears throat> To be where does it go? It goes up to there. <clears throat> Excuse me, I've got a proper little tickle in my throat at the moment, and I can't get rid of it. I've tried drinking water, uh, nothing seems to be working. So we'll set that to there, so it covers all of the coal. We want to build another excavator. I did build a couple more trucks as well, um, just to try and help move things on. We've got an excavator and a couple more trucks. We'll assign those over there when that's done. And everything's looking all right. We, we've I set some more research going, so we're researching um, construction two, which will give us the assembly two. We're res uh, researching the ramps for vehicles, and we're researching blueprints, and then we'll be on to conveyor belts. And that's where I'm going to be happy. And that's where I'm going to be happy. We can start automating a lot more of this then. All of these can be belted into, so they can actually get rid of their stuff automatically. In fact, it's only really the, that's only that at the moment, isn't it? I suppose we can maybe look at moving this storage back, although that's already almost full of iron ore. We have more people arrive from the beacon. Thank you, beacon of loveliness. That is wonderful. This is now being built. Do we have some construction parts? No, we are not making them very fast. These are both boosted still. We are actually losing unity, though, so I'm going to unboost one of them. <clears throat> I'm not sure why our unity went down so much. Nothing's changed there. What if I unboost both of them? Oh no, there's just gonna this it's, it's a small positive, but it's a positive, right? That's what matters. So we're waiting for the excavator to be built. Where is that? That's up here, isn't it? It should have been built now. So we should have it over here. Excavator, two trucks. We then want to say mining designation. We want it to be flat. <clears throat> Excuse me again. We're going to go from this corner here, and we're basically going to say, maybe we should do this in stages. So we want... How are we going to do this? Maybe we, maybe we do just say everything. Maybe, maybe we just say everything. Maybe we just say, just do everything. Okay, maybe we just say, do everything. <clears throat> why is that four there? Because that's at the beginning of that ramp. That's why... So let's start from over here, and we'll just say, come over here, get everything, apart from this bit. We don't need this bit, because I don't think there's any coal there. Excellent, so we're just waiting for this to be built now. There's another truckload of parts coming in. Oh no, it's not. <laughs> We're just waiting for more of this to be built now. There is eight in stock there and four in stock there. We do need another ten, so that should be enough. So as soon as we have a truck that's able to go over there and help with that. Now, do we want to make... I'm, I'm wondering if I'm regretting building this sorter up here now. They're saying that that sorter only accepts dirt. Uh, is, there, is it going to get any rock over here? There is a little bit. I think we're going to need its own separate sorter over here, aren't we? That's a bit more of a problem, because I didn't want to... I wanted to leave space for another farm, should we need one. Keep an eye on our food. Like, I don't... It'd be really nice if it said how much food we're using. <laughs> That's what I'd really like to see. I want to know how much food we're using. But we might need another ore sorting plant. We can fit it in here, actually. So maybe we'll just do that, then. <clears throat> And that is going to accept coal, rock, and dirt. And the coal we want on A, and the rock we'll put on D, and we'll leave the dirt on C. Just so there's a space next to the coal should we need it. That's fine. <clears throat> Excellent. There are construction parts there. Will someone do this? 
Will somebody do this? If I mark this as priority one. Mark this as priority one. In fact, I know I should mark that as priority one, shouldn't I? That's what I should do. Mark the construction as priority one. Because that'll be prioritizing the input of those, won't it? Brickwork needs to need to transport oh, oh I didn't give it a where's waste oh, I went over it five times there we go <laughs> oops a diddly looks like our water storage is full so let's put another fluid storage down we are finished. We have produced eight bricks. We can collect this one. We've got, it gives us 50 bricks and 20 vehicle parts. Excellent. I'm just wondering whether we need to... Oh, no, they've gone off. They should finally be delivering them over here. Yes, excellent. Finally. So you should now start mining. There we go. Excellent. Excellent. So this should be okay for the minute without this. How is our diesel? Is our diesel full? Not quite, but it's getting there. We're definitely going to need another another storage tank, I feel. And then we'll have to start running them down there. And um, well, I suppose we could start another line and just connect another pipe from there, couldn't we? That would probably make more sense. Probably make more sense. What are those? Is that just the arrow saying there's an input output there? Not enough fuel to refuel a vehicle. I know you're saying that. Is it because... I'm going to tell it it can pick up stuff from there. It's because that's, that's what happened last time. Because I put something to build there, it automatically disables the ability for a truck to refuel from there. Because it's just thinking, once that's built, they can't refuel from there. But obviously, that's not going to work whilst it's still being built, is it? Right. So this will soon start producing oodles and caboodles of coal for us, which is exactly what we want. I'm just going to pick something random. Yeah, we've got enough space in there to squeeze some coal storage in, to loose storage, I feel. Uh, how is this doing? That is full. So I'm going to just keep this going. Not that we really need this much iron ore, but I do want these to carry on digging out as much as we can. Because at some point we'll be ramping up all this production. It's going to happen. We're full of potatoes again. Let's uh, get another one of those for potatoes as well. And then we're going to need one up here. Ah, I did think I put coal on that side, but actually I did put it on that side, which has worked out nicely for us. So we're going to put this one just... Bearing in mind we should have belts fairly soon. I'm going to put this one... I'm going to put it in line with it. I'm going to put it in line with it. We're going to leave a bit of a space so we can do some fancy belt work if needed in the future. I'm just hesitant. I don't want to bring it out too far close to this ramp. So this is going, that's going to start getting cold soon. Right now, it's just getting dark. But that's fine, because we're expanding this over here. And they've still got a little bit of space to carry on expanding out. But you can see they have done, like, one, two... They're, like, maybe three, three and a half, four tiles worth of, of dumpage, which is great. Why aren't you doing anything? Literally no jobs. That's because there's nothing to pick up, I suppose. But I suppose we need to move on to the next thing, then. We do have our captain's office available now, but I'm not too worried about that. Um, we have the co copper electrolysis. We have the rubber maker. That's the thing I want to think about getting next. But I think I want to get this done first. Although saying that, it does want us to start doing electronics and vehicle parts. So maybe actually we do get the rubber maker up and running now. So that uses diesel and coal. So I'm going to put this here. Hopefully, in line with... Let's flip it around. So I think that's in line with the diesel. Pickup has no compatible sorting plant for mixed cargo. That's fine. That is almost there. I'm going to say to prioritize it, but realistically, we're just going to be waiting for the construction parts. 
Not a lot we can do about that. Which means, actually, that should be... Let's have a quick little look-see-doodle. That should be... Yeah, got our first bit of coal coming in there. So we should be able to turn this off soon and just store wood for wood's sake. Well, some things use wood, don't they? Not too much, though. Anyway, so I don't think we're going to fit... Let's just check, actually, before they start doing anything. Yeah, we can't fit another one in there because of that pipe. So that's it'll be a five maximum. So let's unpause we'll put it out to two speed and then we'll connect this to this oh, i can't go past that bit of the building that's fine and then it outputs waste water which is oh that's do you know what that's not a problem mate that is not a problem at all Stick that on there. Waste water. That problem is solved. And it'll make us some rubber. Beautiful. That's exactly what we want. What does rubber get stored in? Unit storage. So we're going to pop this over here. We're going to put this in line with the output. Give it a little bit of space just for space's sake. And then we're going to say you are going to store rubber. Awesome. And then it wants us to build assembly for electronics and assembly for vehicle parts. Okay, where a tree heart has no trees to harvest. One button. Hooch. So it's got the trees there. Let's finally try and get rid of the trees. Like just all these trees here. And then we'll start working on these trees over here as well. But let's get rid of the ones around our actual mine. Our quarry. That makes sense. How are you doing? You're getting there. You're getting there. Don't worry about it. You'll get there, my friend. You'll get there. Take a quick look at our research. We've got blueprints, and then we can actually get onto conveyor belts next. I'm wondering why the four is in red. Maybe that's because we haven't researched everything in three. Then why is that five, and that goes to four still? Maybe it's just like assuming we should be further on when we start researching it. I don't know. Anyway. Buildings, no. Storage, no. It'd be down here somewhere, won't it? Assembly. Oh, we've got an assembly too now. Assembly line that is faster and can produce more advanced products. We don't need it though. Let's have a quick look. How does it do with electronics, for example? 3, 12, 12. This is 1, 4, 4. Three, twelve, twelve. So it doesn't. It's not more efficient in terms of resource usage. It's just literally three times. It can reduce three times as much in the same time. But we actually need to make another assembly one. So we'll just have to do that. I don't know if you can upgrade buildings in place, or oh, you can. And that costs eighteen and twelve. That costs thirty. What does it cost? Eighteen and twelve electronics. So it costs extra electronics to do that. And it only actually costs five more to build it. So it's actually quite frustrating. We need to uh, build an assembly one just for these. But okay. We'll make do. We'll make do. So one of these is going to be for vehicle parts. One of these is going to be for electronics. <clears throat> All right, then. Maintenance is good. It's just construction parts. We're really struggling with construction parts. We're up to 0 0.03 again. Oh, it's nowhere near enough to do it. <clears throat> I don't want to go into minus, necessarily. Uh, and we need to pause the beacon. Oh, in fact, pausing the beacon isn't a bad idea. We do have 84 workers available. So let's pause the beacon. That makes sense. I don't know if we maybe want to consider getting another research thing going. It only takes four workers and 40 kilowatts. Do you know what? I might. I might. I mean, I'm saying this. I'm not going to do anything for a million years. Well, we'll get it down. We'll go, I think that's in line. Uh, 
Wow, that's better. Now it's like a mirror of the complex, and I'm hoping the uh, underneath bit will line up. <clears throat> Come on. All right. It was editor me. Do a skip. I've just seen what's happened. I've just realised what's happened. <clears throat> so I was like, well, I'm going to prioritise the two uh, construction part things so we can actually get them going a bit. And I noticed that what they're waiting on is bricks. And I was like, oh, what happened to our thing with the bricks in the middle? Well, that's gone. We've got no bricks in storage over here. Well, we've got a brick maker right, though. Yeah, but that's not making any bricks. And it's not making any bricks because it hasn't got anywhere to exhaust its exhaust pollution. And it hasn't got that because we haven't got a smokestack. And we haven't got a smokestack because we haven't got construction parts. So do you remember in the last video I said it's quite possible in this game to get yourself into this sort of catch-22 situation where you have backed yourself into a corner where you can't do this because you don't have that and you can't do that because you haven't got this. That's where we are. I don't know if we can trade for construction parts. No, we can't, so that's not an option. Okay. What we can do, if we destroy this, that gives us 16 construction parts. If we remove the priority from this and high prioritize that, and then we destroy the smokestack and we destroy the coal maker. They should take those construction parts over here. <clears throat> I wondered why everything was taking so long. Makes sense now, doesn't it? There we go. Right, now our brick maker is up and running. That's nice. It makes 12 bricks every minute. This uses 12 bricks boosted and 6 bricks unboosted. So I've got one unity coming in a month. I might boost that, so that's now making 24 bricks. And boost this one as well, so we are using the 24 bricks we are producing. I don't think anything we're building is waiting on bricks. Because I think it all just pretty much uses construction parts. Yeah, so that's fine. That's fine. All right, then. Oh, that was a, that was a disaster, wasn't it? We are going to want a brick store up and running. So let's think about this. It's going to be loose storage. It's going to be unit storage. Oh, the bricks output from this end. Okay. That's mildly annoying. So let's put this one down here then. And we won't connect it because we're going to have belts very soon. I say that as I look up and look that all the research in this line here is now done. So we can now start researching conveyor belts, fuel stations, so trucks don't have to go to the diesel production directly to get stuff. The groundwater pump, which could be very useful for us. Irrigated farms, so we can connect farms to a source of water. Excellent. And crop rotation, uh, although we only still have the one crop, so... Not sure that's going to make a lot of difference, but conveyor belts, yes please, and thank you. Let's get those on the go. Although conveyor belts do use electric, which is why they don't give them to you straight away, which makes complete sense. You've got something which is constantly moving produce on a belt that has to be powered somehow. There's no hamsters underneath running like something. I was trying to think of something that didn't involve a swear word and I almost failed miserably. <laughs> So it makes sense that you would have to have electric to run belts. Most games don't do it. What's your problem here? Could not store all the potatoes. That's fine because you're waiting for that to be built. That's fine because I have up the priority on these, by the way. These are now a priority four just to make sure they get stuff as soon as humanely possible. Um, 
yeah, anyway, everything's on the go now. We've got some coal coming in. We've got some rock. We've got some of that. So I, it'd be interesting to see how much coal we're producing a month. And what this produces in a month. Because that's a real-time minute, not an in-game month. So I don't know. Like, I produced 20 last month. And this does 7.5 every minute. I don't know how long an in-game month is. Is it a minute? I don't know. Right, everything's looking a little bit better now. Oh, that was a that was a moment of extreme panic for me, is what that was. You can't speed anything up. I can't do anything about the water, mate. It's, it's, it's either going to rain or it's not. Oh, there. Look at that. Look at that. Isn't that perfectly timed? <laughs> right, we have to do a little bit more of a skip because we need to get everything else built, and we currently obviously have no construction parts in stock. Right, go. All right, then things are looking a lot better we have got a constant supply of construction parts although obviously it's all been quite heavily used at the moment and all the building we've been doing we finished the two number one assemblies for the vehicle parts and the electronics this is one we're gonna have to keep an eye on because it uses the copper and although we have a lot of copper in store 500 we don't have a lot coming in because we don't have any way of getting it we can trade construction parts for copper well i'm not very keen on doing that i'll tell you what um, right. I've been going for a little while, so it's definitely time for me to stop. But, a bit of a recap. The rubber is almost there. We just need... Well, there's another little jolt of construction parts coming in. We're getting there. That'll be here soon. The next thing we're going to want to do is copper. Um, and the other thing I thought of was, oh, if we need to feed these with bricks. I suppose the only reason that's down there is because we had to connect it to those. Ultimately, our fresh water supply is here. So we'd have some groundwater pumps here, filled in some brickworks here, which would then feed down to here, I suppose. So maybe it's not all that bad. What I was thinking was, I was thinking about having this as like a main road going up here, then up there. If we're thinking main road in terms of like a bus sort of situation, we can't do triangular, or sorry, we can't do diagonal belts. So that wouldn't really work, would it? So we might have to rethink that and have like a a, a, a a bus starting from like here going straight up when it comes to the copper which is all this lovely aquamarine tint in the rock here what we'd like to be able to do is go straight up there and through this mountain to do that though of course we'd have to excavate the whole mountain first so what we'll have to have to do in the first instance is actually drive around probably through this pass here mine here and then bring it all back over here we are going to have to make some very long belts for all this i don't know how much belts cost i remember uh Nielaus complaining that the um the belt risers which are actually a new thing like a belt lift as you get in um like satisfactory type thing um being quite expensive compared to belts but yeah we're gonna need uh, we're gonna need quite a lot and it's probably also worth i thought at some point moving our diesel generator from there over to here so it's actually close to our diesel production which is actually full now that i say that so what i might do very quickly to remind myself of nothing else is just pop down another one here and then we'll get a pipe and we'll take that from there and connect it up there excellent i don't think we can store too much diesel I don't think that's going to be a problem for us. Let's get as much diesel as we can squeeze into these containers, right? Because then this uses diesel to make the rubber. We're going to need more of these at some point. What does this produce? This produces 24. This uses 8. We're going to want at least another one or two rubber manufactories on the grow go, I'm guessing. Because this uses one at the moment, but when we upgrade it, it'll be two. I can't believe the upgrade takes electronic parts. You're literally better off destroying it and putting in another one, right? Because if we destroyed that, we would get 20 construction parts back. All right, let's just think about this a second. Let's think about this a second. Where's the, where's the thing? Where's the thing? Right. So it costs 25 construction parts to make an assembly one, or 30 to make an assembly two. So if you make an assembly one and upgrade it, it costs you 25 plus 18, so that's 43 plus 12 electronics. 43 plus 12 electronics. Or you build an assembly one for 25. 
you destroy it for 20, so it's cost you 5, and then you build one of these for 30, so it's 35. Yeah, you're significantly better off destroying and rebuilding it. I suppose the thing you've got is the fact that it's going to interrupt your processes. I don't know if when you click upgrade it's an automatic upgrade or if it has to rebuild it. If it has to rebuild it, then you've got literally no reason to do that over just an, uh, destroying it and rebuilding it. But anyway, that's something for future me to worry about. How are we doing with the building stuff? I don't know what they're currently working on with the construction, to be honest. I don't know where all the things are going. It's not there. It's not there. That's been on the go for quite some time. They're not building that. I don't know how they prioritize. They're building this first. I don't know how they prioritize these things, you know. Did they go for that first because they know that everything else is full, even though that's not even assigned to be diesel? Because it's not like it's closest to the construction parts either. I don't know how they order that. That's interesting. So that's P8. And that's P8. And that was the last thing. Do they prioritize the most recent thing you put down? Don't know. Very weird. Rubber maker has no recipe selected. We're not making rubber. Oops. <laughs> let's, let's make some rubber. <laughs> oh, well. Rookie mistake there. Anyway, time to finish up. Hope you've enjoyed this. I am loving this game. I cannot wait to dive into it more. I'm going to see if I can squeeze in a quick video on my lunch break tomorrow. I've got like a day of meetings tomorrow and then like an hour lunch break. And I'm going to try and skip lunch to play it again because I cannot wait to play more of this game. It's so good. Hope you're enjoying it as much as I am. If you are, hit the like button, comment, subscribe, all those good things. Don't forget I stream on Wednesdays at 7.30pm UK time. I would love to see you there. Otherwise, I will see you next time in Captain of Industry. And again, a massive thank you to the devs for providing the key. And as always, thank you very much for joining me.